frozen peas, flour, bay leaves, tomato paste, carrots, our baby, celery, salt, beef broth, garlic, and onions in this bowl right here. We have sweet potatoes, potatoes, and that's it. And that's it. We're missing two ingredients, but we're just gonna make it without it today, right? What other two ingredients we're missing? Two spices, I forgot what it was called. Rosemary and thyme. Yes, but we don't need it. Just okay. This All right, so what's the first thing we need to do? Yes, this is going to be a crock pot recipe. It's really easy. All we're going to do is chop up everything, add all the ingredients together, and cook it in the crock pot on slow for how many hours? 60. Six to eight hours, that's right. All right, so we're going to start prepping, and once we're done prepping all our ingredients, we will be back. chop them up into small pieces, right? Yep, small pieces. Hi everyone, we're back. We're done with the potatoes. So now we're gonna wash the celery. We're doing two celery. Two stalks of celery. Yep, two stalks of celery. So let's wash these. Make sure you scrub on the dirt out from the so, um, so we're ready to uh, put all the ingredients in the crock pot, right? Yeah, except we forgot to tell you this earlier. We need pepper too. Okay, so let's start with the potatoes. Let's dump all the potatoes in at the bottom. Like these? Yep. Sweet potatoes, wet potatoes, put them on the bottom. Let's dump the whole thing in. Alright. Yeah. Alright, now let's put the stew meat in. Careful with that one, nice and gentle. Okay. Alright, let's put it out. Let's take one of these. And we're just gonna even it out a little bit. Looks like we might have a lot of ingredients, huh? Okay. Okay, and then let's put in the peas. Oh, the carrots. Let's put in the carrots. Carrots first. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. Let's put in the peas. They're frozen, remember. Mm -hmm. Not regular peas. So it's about half a cup of peas. You could do regular peas if you don't have frozen peas too. Or you can just frozen the store. It's stuck at the bottom. Okay, use your hands. Push them all out. And then this bowl here, we have celery, onion, and minced garlic. So let's go put, ahead and put that in. Looks like it's going to over frozen. It's going to be a pretty thick stew. I think we have a little bit too much ingredients, but that's okay. All right, put that in. Okay, now we need three tablespoons of paste. So go ahead and take that spoon. I'm gonna get some paste. I'm just gonna estimate, eyeball this. Put it in. It's a little hard. Here, take this. Let's see if it's good. There's one. Loud. Okay. one. Let's do two more. You don't want to do that because now it's going to get stuck on the side. So let's make sure we get it off the side of the crock pot. It's Here. sticky. Mm. It's right. a little loud, but it's okay. Remember, do this in the morning. Because if you do it at dinner, it's going to take a couple hours. 
Yeah, it's gonna take too long. Here, I'm gonna take that. All right, so that's our tomato paste. Go ahead and put that back. All right, now we're gonna add the Worcestershire sauce. We put it in here and put it back in the cabinet. What did we do? Was that a tablespoon? I think so. Okay, let's go ahead and pour that in. However you pronounce that. Let's put in one bay leaf. And a number of bay leaves. Mm -hmm. All right, and now let's go ahead and sprinkle some pepper on there. Just some. A little bit more. Go ahead. Be generous. All right, now we're going to put some salt in, uh, let's put some salt in that, ta use that tablespoon again. What tablespoon? That spoon that you used for the paste. Did you put it back in? Okay, why don't we, actually let's put it down. Let's just put some salt on your hand and then we'll sprinkle it in. Let's see how much you're putting in. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of salt, that's good. Go ahead, put it in. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna pour the beef broth in. We're using a 32 ounce um, container. The flour we don't do until later. I'm gonna mix the flour later once uh, you're about 45 minutes before you're done with the stew. You're gonna mix the flour with water and then you're gonna pour it in. All right. Yep, we're gonna pour all the beef broth in. 32 ounces. 32 ounces. Get this at the store, Target, Walmart, Any grocery store. Any grocery store. Remember to put 32 ounces. If you don't find 32 ounces at one store, Try going to another store or best. Alright. Now all you have to do is put the lid on. Go. Nope. And we'll check back. This lid, lid. Put that big lid on. And there's this hole for steam. And we're gonna set our pot, make sure it's plugged in, set it on low. Set it on low. Dial to low for about six to eight hours. We'll check back at about five and a half hours, add the flour, and then check back in later. All right? Okay, bye. Sound good. We'll see you later. Everyone. Uh, you probably remember this a stew that we made earlier today. Uh, now it's dark, so we're doing this at nighttime. Now we're going to make our cornbread. All right, it looks like we're using Jiffy Bran, just simple corn muffin. Yep. All right, so what do we got to do? So go ahead and put um, the, egg. the egg and the milk in. The milk first? So a third cup of milk, yep. Okay, put the egg in. Make sure you don't One knock that yolk. cornbread over. Uh -huh. One egg yolk. Okay, why don't you break the egg? Can you push that in? Make sure you don't knock that over. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and break the egg yolk. Mix it up a little bit. All right. Go ahead and pour in the mix. All of it? Yep, all of it. All of the corn muffin mix. While you are doing this, make sure you preheat your oven to 
form yep, under duplicate. We are not. We are using countertop. We are not using the other. I'm using a toaster oven. Or it's just as well. Okay, so we're mixing and mixing. How does it look? Pretty good right now. It's a little lumpy, but that's okay because I think it's supposed to be lumpy. All right, now we're gonna pour it into this little mini pan we have. Instead of greasing the pan, we just lined it with oil. Yep, oil. That's fine. And I'm gonna get all of it. All right. Now Looks just... like we have it all in the pan. Let's give it a little shake to even it out. A little harder. Okay, let's take it to the oven. Okay. Remember, grown ups always do this. Grown ups have to help, right? All right, we're gonna put it in here. Okay. Go ahead and set the timer to it's 15 to 20 minutes. So go ahead and set it to 15 minutes, and then we'll check on it and see if it's ready. All right. There it is, baking. Be back, back in a little bit. Bye. Hi guys, we're back. Uh, looks like the stew and cornbread's done. Here's so, our stew. Okay, let's check it. Take the crock pot Ooh, out. Ooh, that is hot. Be careful you to don't burn it yourself. It should be red because of your tomato paste. Okay, we're gonna give it a little stir here. Looks like everything is cooked and soft. Okay. I need to tell you something. We didn't use rush mushrooms because I don't eat it. That's okay. You can put whatever you want in it. So if you want mushrooms, you can add mushrooms. If you want other veggies, you can have other veggies. It's just totally up to you, whatever you want. All right, so we're gonna put some here in a bowl. Let's go ahead and garnish it with some of that. You can use parsley, um, green onion. We're using a little bit of cilantro because that's all we have. And here's our cornbread. Yep. It's done. Cornbread's done. And you cut that Faster. up. Faster. You can add some honey, butter, um, and then you're all set. We're gonna butter soon. We'll have to let Daddy try this, see if he likes it. Yep. And that's your stew and cornbread. And thanks for watching. Please remember to like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.